Hi guys, my name is Ferdi and in this video series I will talk about all the elements of Ultimate Add-ons. What is Ultimate Add-ons? There is an amazing page builder called Elementor that contains a lot of free elements. With Ultimate Add-ons you can add even more elements to Elementor that are more advanced and will add more functionality and flexibility. So with Ultimate Add-ons you can take your website project to the next level. Here are some examples of Ultimate Add-ons elements. You can get the ultimate announce through 30corp.com forward slash UAE. This is an affiliate link, so when you buy the add-on through this link, you don't pay more, but I get a commission. So thank you for that. Then you can click on buy now, scroll down, and then you can choose a package. You can pay with credit card or with PayPal. Then you can download ultimate add-ons, upload it to your website, activate it, and then you can use it within Elementor. Do you like what you see so far? Please like this video and if you're new here, feel free to subscribe for more upcoming videos. Now let's get started. In this video, we will take a look at the price list element. So here at Ultimate Add-ons, I can scroll down and there it is. I drag it over here in a new section and there you see an example. So here we have the price list items and we have the first item, second one and the third one. I can remove one and then it's removed or I can duplicate it like that so what can we do i click on the first item we can change the title so i can say plate with food that's the title then we have a description this is the best food you will ever taste so we have the description we can import dynamic information so if you want to work with that you can search for youtube and then go for 30 ACF, ACF, sorry, that was Dutch. Advanced custom fields. And with the principles explained in that video, I will show you how you can import dynamic data. So I can make a restaurant list with all the food and then I can dynamically import it over here. But you can also do it yourself like this. Price, ah, this is of course $39 because it's really nice. Do I want to offer a discount? So the original price is 99 but it's now 39. I can have an image. I use this one, insert, and there it is. We can have a link. So maybe I have more information about this menu, so we can add a link. Then let me close this, and this one, and I want to duplicate it. Let's have three. And the second one, I change the image, and the third one, I also change the plate. So this is how it looks. And you see the image here is totally at the left and the price is totally at the right. If I want to change that, I can do it through the section, advanced padding, I can say 30, or I can do it within the element itself. I go to advanced padding and I say 30. So there's even more padding right now from the section and from the element. Okay, what we also can do, we can duplicate it and then it looks like this. And in this case, I would say, let's get rid of the padding also here. Or you can say right mouse click, copy, right mouse click, paste style. So this looks nice. What else can we do? I duplicate this whole area. I want to show you something different. I remove this. And then here I go to layout and the image position is at the left, but I also can say it is on top. So it looks like that. And then the overall alignment at the left, in the center or at the right. I bring it to the center. Minimum height. I'll show you that later. And stack on from the mobile. So if you go to a mobile, it will be on top of each other. I go to style. Do I want to have space between those list items? I can do that. Or space between the image and the title. And when I hover over it, what do I want to happen? So I click on hover. I can change the background color to something orange like that. Maybe a bit more transparent like that. You see now there's a white space over here. If I don't want to have that, I say zero. Then I go to content 
layout and then I can change the minimum height. And now when it changes, it looks like that. The background covers it. I go to style, hover, that's okay. I can have a hover animation, make it float or sync or wobble. <laughs> I really don't like that. I say uh, nothing. Then we have the content area with the title. Of course, I can change the title. Maybe I want it to be uppercase. So I say transform uppercase. I want to make it a bit bigger. The margin, make it three. Then we have the description. I want it to be darker. So I say five, 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 five. And the typography, I want it to be less bold. So I go to the weight and I say 500. That's better. Yes. And then I go to the margin and margin top. Let me uncheck this. I say zero because otherwise there's too much space over here in my opinion. And maybe the text can be a bit bigger. So let me see. Something like that. Then we have the price here. You can change that to this color. The hover color if you want that. The typography, I think the price should be a bit bigger. And here we can also change the margins. And the image, should it be bigger? Right now, it shows a thumbnail. I want the quality to be higher, so I say large. And now it's a little bit sharper. And then I can change the image size over here. What I can do now, I can say, you know what, I want to duplicate this. I want to duplicate it again. And then here at the first element, I can say I want to remove the second one and the third one. Over here, I can say I want to remove the first one and the third one. And then the latest one, I can say I want to remove the first one and the second one. Update. Let's take a look. And here's the first one. And here's the second one. And if I hover over it, it looks like that. And then I can also say, you know what? I still want to have some padding. So I say 20, right mouse click, copy, paste style, and paste style. Now it looks like that. So if I duplicate this area one more time, I drag it here below. You can also give it a totally different style. So I go to the section, to the style, gradient background. I want it to be dark, a little bit more orange. Hmm, maybe better use an image. This looks weird. But you know, just for the sake of the tutorial, let's do it. I can click here, layout, and I say image position at the right. And now it looks like that. You know what? I Let me do it really quickly. Pexels.com. And I search for food. I click over here, free download. There it is. I go to the section settings, style, no gradient, but a classic background. I click here, upload files. Here it is. I open it. I insert it. There it is. I want it to be fixed and I want it to cover. Then I go to the background overlay. Classic, black, and then here I can change the opacity. What I can do now, I click over here, I go to style, normal background color, I would say white, and then a little bit transparent, or black, and a bit transparent. And then I go to the content area, color of the text, white, make it a bit bigger. And actually maybe everything red, white, or let me see the description. Also white, maybe a little bit less. And the price I want it to be red. Maybe that's more of a restaurant color. Let me see. 
right mouse click, copy the style, right mouse click, paste the style. Now it looks like that. A little bit more padding, advanced, 60, or only at the top and at the bottom. So right, I say 20. And at the left, I say 20. Update. Let's take a look. And here it is. Look at that. That looks beautiful. So you can do this and this with the price list element. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you learned a ton of stuff. Have a great day. Feel free to like this video, to subscribe for more upcoming videos, and then you will see me the next time. Bye-bye.